Hello everyone, welcome back! Today we're going to be opening some of the most desirable packs in the Pokemon TCG. Right now we have here Play Pokemon Prize Packs Series 1. So if you have been around long enough to remember the EX era, you may remember our Pop Series packs. I guess they went into Diamond and Pearl as well. There were nine series of those, and you earned them by going to Pokemon Leagues and stuff. There were two card packs, and you built up a 17 card set. So this is kind of a similar thing. They are booster packs that you can only get by attending Leagues. These can't be sold anywhere. They're not going to be coming in any, you know, box sets, nothing like that. You can only get these at events. You can see they don't even have barcodes on or anything so that people are completely unable to sell them. And then we have exclusive prize pack, play and win. This pack contains a handful of awesome cards for your Pokemon TCG collection, each stamped with a play Pokemon stamp and available only at participating stores. You might find alternate energy cards, a favorite Pokemon, or even a Pokemon V or Pokemon V Max inside. So, unlike the Pop Series prize packs, there are a ton of cards in these. Now, they do come from sets, so there are no mechanically exclusive cards like there were in the Pop series, and they do retain their original set symbol and numbering, but they have this symbol on the card. And it seems, not completely confirmed yet, that every non-V and VMAX that you can get in these has a foil and non-foil version within these. I say not confirmed, because there's actually a pool of over 200 different cards that you can be pulling from these Series 1 prize packs. So, it is basically impossible for one person to ever earn enough prize packs to pull a complete set. Now, you'll also notice this says Series 1. So, Series are supposed to run for around 6 months, but this one was released kind of late. You know, Pokemon has been working to get uh, organized playback going and stuff. So, this will only run until February, and then we'll kick into Season 2, or Series 2, which will run for 6 months. Now, we don't know exactly whether Series 2 will be a completely new card pool, or whether some of these will rotate out and some new ones will rotate in. If I had to guess, I would guess that some amount of the 200 cards you can pull from here will be cut 10% or 25%, again, would be my guess, but I don't know, and then more cards from later sets will rotate in. I think in these you can get cards anywhere from Sword and Shield up to Evolving Skies. Right now, the money cards for these seem to be the Charizards. There's a Charizard V, a Charizard V Max, and Charizard from Vivid Voltage. However, there is probably going to be a shift when Series 2 and stuff comes out. If some cards do stay from this into Series 2, then the ones that rotate will probably be the Chase cards from this series. But because of how early the Charizards are in the set, they will probably rotate. But again, we don't know anything for definite. This is all speculation at this point. Anyway, enough chatting let's get into these so we have six packs here each of these is going to come with six cards so we're starting out with a rescue character rescue character rescue carrier so you see this is from evolving skies original set symbol original number only difference is the play pokemon logo here on the side and we have ordinary rod so a lot of these are going to be trainers because Part of the reasoning behind doing this was to try and make playable cards a lot more accessible for people. So as well as having the fancy stuff like the Charizard VMAXs and the Evolutions and stuff, we're also getting a lot of playable cards. We have a Chinchino. So that was three non-foils there, so we now have a Foil Copycat. Foil Air Balloon and a Fighting Energy. So it's a Sword and Shield style Fighting Energy, but it is unnumbered. There's also a code in there for Pokemon Live, but I'm keeping that. So I'm I'm thinking there's going to be an energy in every pack, whether or not it can be foil or non-foil. I know there are foils, but I don't know whether the foil would come in one of those two foil slots. So it seems like three non-foils, then two foils, and then an energy, but I don't know if a foil energy would be in the energy slot or not. Anyway, Tower of Waters, Impact Energy, Ore Beetle, so another Foil Air Balloon, a duplicate already, Fog Crystal, and another Fighting Energy. So from people who've been watching these opened at leagues and stuff, it's 
been said that about one in every five packs is going to have a V or V Max in it. So, it'd be nice if I can pull one in this video. Got a Tower of Darkness. Is that another duplicate already? Stormy Mountains. Smeagol. Okay, so the foil energies come in the foil slot. Okay, so we have a foil lightning energy there. That's very nice. Foil quick ball. And then a regular grass energy. I will say as well, from all the photos and everything that we've seen, all of the Vs and Vmaxes are the standard art from within the main set. So there's no alternate arts, full arts, nothing like that. So you can get Umbreon Vmax, I believe, and Umbreon V, but it's not uh, Moonbreon. All right, we have an XP share. Raihan. Kyurem. Have a foil single strike energy, foil switch, and a water energy. I'm hoping that at some point Pokemon or TPCI does publish an official list of everything that is in here. I know at the moment people are working on building checklists. Um, Playscape Games, Stephen from Playscape Games, is doing a really good job of building up a community checklist of these cards uh, for what's been seen. But it would be nice if there was some sort of you know, something official from Pokemon where they said, yes, definitively, this is everything. We've got an Urn of Vitality. Drizzile. Very playable card. Crobat. Got a Foil Snorlax. Foil Rapid Strike Energy. And a Psychic Energy. It's worth noting that a lot of these cards are appearing in foil for the first time. They've obviously had reverse foils, but this is the first time they're getting foils, and it's the first time that some of these cards are going to be appearing in non-foil. Um, previously, obviously, if there were foils in a set, sometimes you'd get the occasional non-foil as part of a deck or something, but for the most part, non-foils never had a non- uh, foils never had a non-foil printing, sorry. So, this is a good way of doing this too. I do hope it ends up being, you know, not crazy expensive for these. I imagine, you know, they're obviously going to be those chase cards, the Charizards, the Evolutions, whatever. They're going to be a little bit of money, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad, you know, rounding out the supporters and everything like that. I've got a Tower of Waters, Single Strike Energy, Cresselia, Foil Captive Energy, Capture Energy. Looks like we've got something good behind it here. Ooh, we got a Rayquaza V! Very, very nice. So it looks like these do use the original V foiling, running diagonal top right down. Seems to be exactly how the Vs were before. This actually, this kind of foiling, um, you don't really see it very much on cards like this. It is the same sort of foiling, I believe, that they use on the the picture of foils within sets. But seeing it in the you know reverse foil pattern is very unique. That's very, very cool. Very, very glad. I want a Metal Energy. Very glad we got one V just to show off. That is a very, very sweet pull. Alright, so there's a uh, quick look at our foils once again. It is hilarious to me that we actually pulled a duplicate foil out of so few packs and with such a large card pool. But... I'm happy that I've been able to open some of these. Just happy I was able to, you know, get along to some leagues and get some. I'm going to be keeping going to local leagues every week now. This is doing exactly what it intends to. It's getting people going to league. There's at least two leagues in my area I'm going to make sure I show up to every week. Um, even when I'm away over Christmas, I'm going to try and hunt out some leagues and try and get some of these packs. I'm very excited to be putting a set together like this. This set feels like it's going to be a challenge, but like a really nice challenge, you know what I mean? It's not like where I'm just going to be, you know, opening hundreds of packs at once and getting annoyed that I haven't pulled the chase card again. Um, yep, I'm excited. I love these packs. I love this idea. I think they're very, very cool. And hope to open a lot more in the future. Hope to pull quite a lot of them before we move on to Series 2. Anyway, that's it from me for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoy these packs as much as I do. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all. all. <laughs>